Lesson 15, Adding 10 the Easy Way. Let's start this lesson with a pretty tough addition problem. 27 plus 10. One way to get the answer here is to start at 27 and then count by ones. You could go 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and you could just go all the way up until you got to 10 more than 27. That would work, but it would take a while. A better way to add 27 plus 10 would be to use what we've learned about numbers. Here's what I mean. You know that in 27, the 2 stands for 2 tens and the 7 stands for 7 ones. Well, if we add 10 to 27, that's one more 10. So instead of 2 tens, we'd have 3 tens. So what number should be in the tens place of the answer then? Exactly. Since we still have seven ones, what should go in the ones place of the answer? You got it. And that gives us an answer of 37. So 27 plus 10 actually equals 37. And do you see how it works? When you add 10 to a number, all it does is increase the tens digit by one. It went from two to three, and everything else stays the same. Now, why don't you do a problem where a 10 is added to a number? What's 54 plus 10? Good job. See, the answer is the same, except that five tens has been changed to six tens. Let's do another one. What's 89 plus 10? Awesome. All you have to do is change 8 tens to 9 tens and keep everything else the same. Now there's one more kind of problem I want to show you. What if we have something like this? 6 plus 10. The 6 doesn't have any tens, so what do we do? Well, think about it. 6 plus 10 is just 1 10 and 6 ones. But that's the same as 16. And so 16 is the answer. That's all you have to do. Now you try one like that yourself. What's 8 plus 10? Perfect. 8 plus 10 just means 1 10 and 8 ones, and that's the same as 18. We'll do one more. What's 10 plus 4? Exactly right. 